Hello and welcome back to Football Scrutiny. Today we're going to be taking a look at the game between Atletico Madrid and Liverpool in the Champions League last 16. The Spanish Matadors fend off the English champions elect. This is how Simeone outshone Jurgen Klopp with a 1-0 victory. First let's take a look at the Atletico Madrid side. With their standard 4-4-2 system, when Atletico Madrid attacked, they did so primarily by using the central and the inner corridors. Simi only wanted his team to hit hard on the counter-attacks. The attacks are coming quite vertical with speed and it's not necessarily the outer corridors that they would use. Of course, when they did use the outer corridors during the build-up phase, it was often the fullback on the left-hand side, the young Brazilian Lodi, who has a great left foot and able to whip in some great crosses. In those cases, there are at least three players in the box. This is how Atletico Madrid intended to attack Liverpool. Taking a look at the Liverpool squad, no surprises really. That typical 4-3-3 system. In the attacking phase, as usual, the three forwards attack in the central corridors, leaving the wings open for Robertson and Alexander-Arnold. This game, Alexander-Arnold mainly operated as a right winger, and Fabinho as the pivot in the midfield, just in front of those two centre-backs. Taking a look at the game tactics then from Atletico Madrid, it was clear from the start that Simeone wanted his side to press high up the pitch. Especially in the beginning of the game, they tried to snatch the ball from Liverpool during the build-up phase. This worked really well for them in the first 7-8 to eight minutes. The idea was to stop Liverpool's threat on the wing. Robertson and Alexander-Arnold were always going to be busy during the game, but they were kept relatively silent throughout the game. And Atletico Madrid's players assigned to those tasks were obviously the wide players, Koke and Lemar. Both of these players put in a hell of a lot of work during the game, limiting Liverpool to only a few successful crosses during the match. And most of those were taken care of by their centre-backs Savic and Felipe. After Atletico Madrid's intensive start to the game, they fell back to that normal 4-4-2 low defensive block, which we're accustomed to seeing them in. Koki and Lamar putting pressure directly on Robertson and Alexander-Arnold to their great cover by their full-backs. When the outer corridors were blocked, Liverpool tried to penetrate centrally, but in those areas, that's where Atletico Madrid were well organised. Since the wide midfielders took care of the wide areas and the back four could really concentrate on that central and nearer corridors, we can see here just how tight that space has become, especially when they were well supported by the two centre midfielders, Saul and man of the match, Thomas. Here we can see that traditional setup from Atletico Madrid in that 4-4-2 system in the mid-block. Correa Murata screening passes away from the passing lanes from Liverpool's back four into the pivot Fabinho, forcing Wijnaldum and Henderson to drop down during the build-up phase. The big distances between Liverpool's attacking lines aren't helping to reach penetration in the final third as they got stuck out on the wings. Here in that defensive low block we can see here that Koke is closing down Robertson who now has to play backwards, turning backwards and playing back. The fullback giving cover to Koke and Thomas there. We can also see that Correa there is moving in closer just to make sure that Robertson has no other option than to play backwards, preventing him from playing into the middle with Wijnaldum. Also, we need to direct your attention to see that in that square there we've got a five against two, with five defenders from Atletico Madrid preventing any cross coming in, making sure that they're able to deal with that and defending the area. And not just defending the area, there we've got Savic in line with the front post, Felipe around the penalty spot and Lodi in line with the with the left post. And then Saul and Lemard picking up any balls which will get knocked down into there. Here's another example at the beginning of the game where Atletico have shifted across and Koke is closing down Robertson out wide. It's not easy for Liverpool to find ways through here, especially when they're one man short. The thing with Diego Simeone's team is that they're so disciplined and they're keeping their organisation throughout the whole 90 minutes. Koke ran probably the most out of all the players during the game, constantly on the move to cover new areas. When Liverpool did succeed in getting the ball in and around the penalty area, the Atletico Madrid players surround the Liverpool player on possession of the ball, making it really difficult to retain it and difficult to create easy chances to score. I like this picture, it says a lot about the game here. Liverpool tried to screen off the central areas and are forced to play out wide, but couldn't make penetrating passes. Liverpool dominate the possession during the game, most of the time, they were active outside Atletico's compact organisation. It's difficult to play within, 
Not even the positions like the ball carrier here, Henderson, could find possibilities to send in the long ball towards the penalty area. Atletico Madrid's centre midfielders sorted that through good pressing, jumping out from the midfield line. The two forwards, Correa and Morata, screen away Fabinho, keeping him out of the build-up play as much as possible. And Liverpool just couldn't really reach a shot on target during the game. So Liverpool's tactics then. Liverpool, as always, used their high attacking fullbacks in attack, operating from those outer corridors. Robertson and Alexander Arnold's ability to get into the positions where they can create deadly crosses into the penalty area. It's a great weapon for Liverpool. Jurgen Klopp wanted to create overloads on the left hand side of the pitch with an Aldrum. Jurgen Klopp wanted to create overloads on the left hand side of the pitch meaning the ball would have to go out into Robertson and at the same time the central players would make runs towards that side and then luring the Atletico Madrid side with them as they shift across. If the ball tempo was quick enough then Liverpool would find the two against one situation on the opposite side if they are able to circulate it quickly. Unfortunately for Liverpool neither the pace on the ball or the accuracy of passing was the standard that we would expect possibly due to the atmosphere created by the incredible Atletico Madrid fans, fuelled by that early goal. Okay, so here we can see that situation then, with the ball going onto the left-hand side of the pitch, and then the Liverpool players moving over and leaving Alex Arnold high up the pitch, almost like a right winger with Salah. The central players shifting across towards the left-hand side of the pitch, luring the opposition over there and then trying to switch the play as quickly as possible to create that two against one situation. On this occasion, they tried the long ball over to Salah, which was too long in the end. Taking a look at the goal then. So this is the goal in the fourth minute of the game. Atletico Madrid get a corner on the right side of the pitch. Liverpool in their zonal defending with two blockers there, and then Salah on the edge of the box trying to pick out the pieces if it bounces out. These players not only block the runs, but also they try and pick out the trajectory of the ball and attack it to clear it. With the ball dropping to the floor without any player touching it, it then bounces on Fabinho's leg, deflects towards the goal, and then Saul is able to just tap it into the net. Difficult to miss from that range, and the Wanda Metropolitana, as you can imagine, went crazy, and this gave Atletico Madrid the opportunity to sit back and defend that 1-0 lead, not wanting to concede an away goal. This another set piece here, they take a short corner, inviting Liverpool to step out. That two against one there with Mane, when they push the ball further out, Liverpool step out. It's difficult being the defensive side here. As they reach the edge of the penalty area, the cross comes in, and that's the key of the trigger for Atletico Madrid players to make runs into the box. And here we can see three players moving in. Fortunately for them, the full goalkeeper was aware it came out quickly. Here's an example of that direct play from Atletico Madrid. Here, no pressure on the ball from the Liverpool midfielders. He lifts his head up to try and make a pass over the top. Van Dijk and Gomez on this occasion were slow to react. They had several problems with this during the game. Morata almost scoring. And on this occasion, Robertson clears and prevents it from becoming 2-0. If it had become 2-0, it would have been really difficult for Liverpool there. So is there any hope in the next game? Can Liverpool get back into the match? Okay, so this is an example of what Liverpool didn't succeed with in this game, but could have done in the second leg. Liverpool was established on the opposition half. Gomez has to feint a pass to Henderson centrally, which makes Lemar stay in his position, trying to block that passing lane. Instead, a quick pass out to Alexander-Arnold at the same time as Henderson starting a run in behind Atletico Madrid's fullback Lowly, who have jumped out to press Alexander-Arnold. Liverpool's front three should pin those three Atletico Madrid defenders on the edge of the box so they don't intervene with the incoming activities in that blue area. I think we'll see more of the movements like this from Robertson in the next game as Liverpool need more players arriving in the danger area if they want to score. As the fullback is pinned by Mane and that Koke is occupied with an Aldrum, it's Robertson is the odd man out and he could sneak in behind the fullback. As we mentioned with the Atletico Madrid fullback, Jumping out to press Alex Arnold with a one touch, he could find the ball into Henderson, who could drive into that area and put the ball across. And as we've seen a few times this season, Robertson able to get on the edge of fullback to fullback crosses, but also the other Liverpool players would then move in as well Mane, Salah, and Firmino. And this is an opportunity which they could pick up on in the second game. 
Okay, so here's that example then, which Liverpool couldn't convert into a goal chance. Gomez signals his intentions early, which activates Lamar in not giving Alex Arnold much time on the ball. Henderson makes that run in behind Lowly, who then has gone out to press Alex Arnold. If Robertson had started his run a bit earlier, I would have found the back of that Atletico Madrid right back. Okay, so here's that pass from Alex Arnold into the space from Henderson, and that's the positioning that Robertson could have picked up. Firmino perhaps a little bit too passive, not getting into the edge of the box. Liverpool are going to have to attack a lot quicker in these opportunities if they're going to get anything from Atletico Madrid's deep defending in the second leg. Okay, so here's another example of that free space that Liverpool could drive into and exploit. The fullbacks can put the ball into those inner corridors where Vinaldo can make a vertical run. The fullback from Atletico is already busy trying to cover Koke out wide. And Thomas is busy with following Mane. So there's always going to be a gap behind that fullback to Savic, and that's what, and that's because Atletico Madrid want their centre backs in front of the goal. As we mentioned before, those three centre backs in line with the front post, back post, and the penalty area, and the penalty spot. Sorry, there's certainly a gap that Liverpool should try to exploit. Guess okay, so this victory had Simeone's name written all over its tactics to close down Liverpool on the flanks and concentrate its centre backs centrally made it tough for the reigning champions. Not to concede a shot on goal says a lot about the performance from Atletico Madrid. 1-0 is fragile, especially when playing away from home at Liverpool in Anfield, where it's a completely different story to being at home in front of their own crowd. Either way, second leg is going to be a hell of a match, and we're definitely going to be taking a look at it.